What's up guys? Welcome to Beyond the Multiverse. Today we're going to talk about the top 6 interesting facts about Darth Maul. This video is going to highlight all the things that the Clone Wars and Rebels animated series fleshed out about the awesome former Sith Lord, but if you've watched those shows, don't worry, there's still going to be some facts that you might not have known. So let's get started. Maul is part of the Zabrak species and was born on Dathomir to the witch Mother Talzin. Darth Sidious came to Dathomir out of interest in mixing his dark side abilities with Mother Talzin's magic. He promised she would be his apprentice, but took interest in her son instead. After Sidious became interested in Maul, he had Maul kidnapped by another family and tortured. To Sidious' pleasure, this turned into hate being manifested into Maul. When Sidious returned to Dathomir to choose an apprentice, and Maul saw Sidious, the man who subjected him to all the torture and separation from his family, Maul was overcome by the dark side and force choked the people who tortured him, which brought a wicked smile to Sidious's face as he chose his apprentice. Qui-Gon Jinn is not the first Jedi that Maul killed. During his training with Sidious, Maul's master always instilled in him a hatred for Jedi, but forbade him from making any moves in order to conceal the Sith's long-awaited re-entrance into the galaxy. Eager to unleash some anger and energy, Maul heard of a young Jedi Padawan named Eldra Kytus being auctioned off by a criminal. Maul went and dueled the Jedi, and while he's surprised by Eldra's combat skills, he kills her and is still left feeling unsatisfied. While falling down the chasm after being bisected at the waist by Obi-Wan Kenobi on Naboo, Maul used the force to grab onto a trash chute opening which he went into. Along with all the garbage, Maul was transferred to a trash planet called Lotho Minor. Maul stayed alive for years after this by letting his mind fall into madness and being so focused on absolute hatred for Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was later found by his brother, Savage Opress, during the Clone Wars. His mind was mended by Mother Talzin, and he was forged new legs which were more advanced than the ones he constructed on Lotho Minor. After being resurrected by his family, Maul and his brother Savage were hungry for power, wanting to be the real Sith Lords and not Sidious and Dooku. After a battle on Florum, Maul and Savage were drifting in space, half dead, and they were found by the Mandalorian terrorist group Death Watch. Maul went on to assemble five powerful crime organizations into a group he called the Shadow Collective, with himself at the helm. Maul wanted the home operations planet to be Mandalore. He went there with the backing of Death Watch and turned on their leader, Pre Vizsla, challenging him to a fight to the death, the winner claiming the Darksaber. Maul won the match and became the king of Mandalore. After those events, Sidious realized the power that Maul and Savage were gaining, and he decided to pay them a visit. On Mandalore, Sidious killed Savage and tortured Maul, showing him that Sidious was the real Dark Lord of the Sith. During the fall of the Republic, the Shadow Collective was dissolved and Maul was captured by Republic forces. As Order 66 was commencing, Maul escaped captivity. Years later, during the reign of the Empire, Maul headed another crime organization called the Crimson Dawn, which was highlighted in the Solo film. When Maul found out that Obi-Wan was on Tatooine, he went there with intentions to kill him. Once he found him, it ended up being Maul's final duel. And that wraps up this character file. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something, and I hope to see you next week, where we are going to do a deep dive character analysis of Maul. We're going to talk about Maul's psyche, goals, tendencies, and what influences the things he's done. So be sure to tune in next week for an awesome video.